Hello everyone, this is Vandana Kustis from English Classroom Tutor. So if you haven't subscribed my channel yet, so what are you waiting for? Just subscribe it right now. So guys, today I am going to deal with the topic that is ledger. It's a poem. So before getting into the topic of poem, let me talk about the poet. Alright. So this poem was written by W.H. Davis. His full name is William Henry Davis. He was born on 3rd July in 1871 and he took his last breath, means he was died in 26 September 1940. He was a Welsh poet and he, he is famous for his writing on nature, city life and hardship. He observed the natures closely and he passed his life as a beggar. Means in England he was a paddler and a street singer also. He expressed the most important problem of our life in this poem. उन्होंने इस पोइम में अपनी लाइफ लाइफ की जो सबसे बिगेस्ट प्रॉब्लम है उस पर क्वेश्चन रेस किया है सो दिस पोइम एक्सप्लेन्स द बिगेस्ट प्रॉब्लम ऑफ अवर लाइफ एंड दिस पोइम इज बेस्ड ऑन द बेस्ड ऑन द पोइट्स पर्सनल एक्सपीरियंसेस सो लेजर नाउ व्हाट इज द आइडिया ऑफ this poem, central idea. The poet thinks that people have no time. The modern man has no time to appreciate the beauties of nature. He is too busy. Modern man is too busy. He doesn't have any time to look at the nature and admire the nature. So now see, come to the topic leisure. Leisure means free time, spare time. Time spent away from your business, from your household, from your worries, from your anxieties. The time that you have nothing to do when you are not in hurry means whatever you like to do, enjoy your life and getting relaxation. So this is leisure time. So the poet tells about this. Now to make you understand well, first of all, I read this poem aloud. What is this life full of care? We have no time to stand and stare. No time to stand beneath the boughs and stare as long as sheep or cows. No time to see when woods we pass, where squirrels hide their nuts in grass. No time to in broad daylight, streets full of stars like skies at night. No time to turn at beauty's glance and watch her feet how they can dance. And rich that is my her eyes begin. A poor life this is if full of care. We have no time to stand and stare. So this is the poem. Do you realize the poet seems sad here? Yes, the poet is sad here. Because we are too busy on in our daily routine. With our daily routine, day to day to day life, we are very busy that we don't have any spare time for nature to admire the nature. And now start with the lines. How? What is this life? The poet question.
questioning here, the poet is questioning here, ki what is this life full of care? Care means anxiety. And worry. The poet said ki hamari jo life hai wo, it's full of worries or responsibilities or anxieties. So how is that life? Ye kaise life hai? We have no time to stand and stare that we don't have any spare time, any free time to look at a place and stare and the beauties of the nature. Natural beauty is scattered all around us but we don't have any time to admire that, appreciate that natural beauty. No time to stand beneath the bows and we don't have any extra time or spare time to stand beneath the bows. Bows get the, uh, the main branch of a tree, it means under a shield. The we don't have any time. Ki we can't stand under a shady tree. Ki hamare paas trees ke niche kade hone ka bhi time nahi hai. Us shade ko enjoy karne ka time bhi hamare paas nahi hai. And stare as long as sheep or cows. Here, the poet used simile, figure of his speech. Ki jis tarah se cows and sheep enjoy karti hai, nature ka, appreciate karti hai. Wo is really, ek tarah look at continuously wo dekhti rati hai, enjoy karti hai. Vaise bhi hum bilkul nahi kar paate hai. So in other words, we can say, here the poet compares that animals are better than us. At least they are enjoying the nature, but we don't have any spare time to enjoy the nature. Because we have made our schedule so busy, so hectic. That's why we are not able to appreciate the nature. No time to see when woods we pass. And we have no time when uh, we pass out in the woods. Woods means forest. When we pass out in the forest, hote hai, to there we have no time. There is no time that we have to stand and look around us. That we can see our four sides. The beauties of nature are there. Kya musko admire kar sake. People say that nature lives its unique form in forest. Ki jo nature hai, prakriti hai, wo jungle mein apne ek bahut hi best form mein rati hai, bahut hi achhe mein. Where squirrels hide their nuts in grass. Jahan pat gilhariya nuts ko grass mein hide, chipati hai. So we miss that scene also. Okay? Hamare paas ho bhi dekhne ka time nahi hai. No time to involve broad daylight. Or hamare paas itna bhi time nahi hai. We are not having any time to see when sun rays falls upon the clear water of the streams. Jab sun rays हमारे जो रिवर्स हैं मतलब रिवर्स टू शिवा रिवर्स टू स्पार्कल उसके ऊपर जब वो सनरेज गिरती हैं तो वो कितना रिफ्लेक्ट करती है वो ठीक है वो सनरेज जब गिरती है तो वाटर रिफ्लेक्ट्स एंड स्पार्कल्स एट दैट टाइम एंड लुक लाइक द जैसे एट नाइट द स्टार ट्विंकल्स तो यहां देयर इज आल्सो अ कंपैरिजन दिस इज आल्सो अ सिमिली कि वो स्ट्रीम्स व्हेन Sun rays falls upon the clear water of the streams and at that time water reflects and sparkles like the stars at night. No time to turn at beauty's glance. Here the poet personified the beauty. He said the beauty, nature beauty. So he compares a girl, dancing girl. Ki haan pas itna bhi time nahi hai. कि हम वहाँ पर कुछ देर रुक कर उसकी beauty को देख सके तो here the part personifies मतलब nature कोई girl के रूप में बताया dancing girl nature as a dancing girl ऐसा assume किया है तो personification when we 
गिव द ह्यूमन ट्रेट्स जब हम किसी को एज अ ह्यूमन बींग एज्यूम कर लेते हैं किसी इन एनिमेट थिंग्स को या नॉन लिविंग थिंग्स को दिस इज कॉल्ड पर्सोनिफिकेशन वॉच हर फीट हाउ दे कैन डांस और हम उसके उन उनके उसके फीट को पैरों को भी देखने का टाइम है जैसे कि आप जानते हैं व्हेन एनिमल इज डांस तो डिफरेंट मूव्स आर देयर राइट तो ऐसे ही उन्होंने डिफरेंट मूव्स किसको कहा है नेचर्स फीट किसको कहा है कि द चेंजेबल सीज ऑफ द नेचर बदलता रहता है द चर्पिंग ऑफ द बर्ड्स राइट एंड द रॉक स्ट्रीम्स एंड एवरी ब्यूटिफुल थिंग दैट लाइज इन अ फॉरेस्ट सो यहाँ पे क्या है कि जैसे एक डांसिंग गर्ल के मूवमेंट्स होते हैं वैसे ही प्रकृति भी इट कैन ऑल्सो चेंज इट्स मूव उसमें भी सीन सीजन के अकॉर्डिंग चेंजेबल है चेंज होते रहते हैं तो इवन वी कांट वेट फॉर दैट टू सी दैट सीन्स हम उस सीन को देखने का भी वेट नहीं करते हैं No time to wait till her mouth came. Or हम अर्पास इतना we are not having any time to wait and stand at a place there to till her mouth can enrich that smile her eyes begin. कि जो smile वो जो nature's को personified किया है वो जो dancing girl है उसकी smile जो eyes से start होती है कि वो आँखों में जो खुशी दिखाई देती है उसकी कि जब तक कि वो उसके होठों पर ना आ जाए इतना भी वी आर नॉट है दिस टाइम ऑल्सो इवन इतना भी हमारे पास टाइम नहीं है अपर लाइफ जैसे जैसे फुल ऑफ केयर कि यदि ये फुल ऑफ केयर यदि ये इतनी फुल ऑफ केयर है तो ये कैसी लाइफ है पुअर लाइफ है ये ये बहुत ही गरीब और बहुत ही खराब लाइफ है जो कि हम लोग द मॉडर्न हेल्थ मैन लिविंग So we have no time to stand and stare. हमारे पास कोई भी टाइम किसी भी नेचुरल ब्यूटी को क्योंकि ब्यूटीज आर स्कैटर्ड ऑल ओवर अराउंड अस बट वी डोंट हैव एनी टाइम टू वॉच दैम द ब्यूटीज ऑफ द नेचर एंड एडमायर वी आर नॉट हैविंग एनी टाइम फॉर दैट थ्रू दिस पॉइंट पॉइंट वॉन्ट टू से दैट वी आर इंगेज विद द वर्ल्डली अफेयर्स एंड वी आर रनिंग आफ्टर द मेटरलिस्टिक वर्ड टू वॉन्टिंग मोर टू वॉन्टिंग मोर टू वन मनी और एल्स सो द पॉइंट थिंग्स दैट मॉडर्न मैन हैज नो टाइम टू लुक एट द ब्यूटीज ऑफ द नेचर ही इज वर्किंग लाइक अ मशीन और लाइक सो दिस इज द पॉइंट एंड इन माई नेक्स्ट वीडियो आई विल टॉक अबाउट the poetic devices which are used in this poem